Let's go to Matt Yaloff right now. He is there in Arlington, Texas, getting ready for this game five. Matt, let's talk about that Verlander versus Montgomery. A little is different. We're, we're used to these bullpen attacks now. Now we have two <laughs> big starters. One has a bigger name. The other one's been outstanding as well. Yeah, Montgomery has been absolutely outstanding and being around him, you notice how under the radar and quiet and reserved he is. However, look for this today. They may need to change your attack. He threw a ton of curveballs in game number one and it was effective. So even he says they may need to make an adjustment. So here is Montgomery. He wants to avoid at all costs falling behind early in this game. Probably going to have to do something different. I mean, I think the Astros are such a good team and such a good lineup that it's, it's hard to get them out the same way. So, um, kind of just see how the game goes. Yeah, we'll see how the game goes. And, and that's kind of basically what you get from Montgomery in terms of his sound bite. And you know, Brian, if there's a silver lining in getting blown out the day before, it means that these guys are all basically, they're going to be available. You got LeClerc, you got Chapman, you got Spores. These are the guys that they rely on late in games. So you get blown out the day before, they get an extra day of rest. And that's probably what Texas is hoping for tonight. Six from Montgomery, and then the pen late in the game takes over. You know, uh, yep, Montgomery won that game one. This is a game one rematch. Uh, Verlander pitched, though, very well. I just had to look up here because I, I wasn't even sure, Matt. Justin Verlander has 220 playoff innings. Like, I, you know, I know there's more playoffs than ever before, but just so much experience. He's had his ups and downs, but just so many great moments. What do you expect tonight from this guy who's going to be a Hall of Fame pitcher? Well, I mean, that's a ridiculous number, the way you just put it. That's like a, a, that's a Zach Wheeler season worth of innings in the postseason. That's crazy. Uh, Verlander, you know that he is a, a talker, and you know he will give you a great answer. So instead of me telling you what to expect, listen to Verlander addressing that question. It's going to sound odd to say, but there's just more um... – uh, a focus on winning the baseball game, whereas in the regular season, um, uh, there's a lot of other focuses of going deep in the ball game, saving the bullpen. Um, you know, you might you might uh, sacrifice a run for um, not going into a big inning, um, whereas in the playoffs, sometimes you're maybe more willing to make a pitch that. You know, let's say the regular season, it's like a 3-0 count, and you think the guy's swinging, and you're like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll give in here. In the playoffs, given the situation, you might not, um, because the game could hang in the balance right there. And look, BK, experience matters. Check this out. Combined postseason games played on the ALCS rosters. Houston 726 to 319 experience doesn't mean everything however if you have been here and seen everything you've been down to nothing you've been up to nothing it's going to play a role and when you head into the Astro clubhouse you feel it when they were down to nothing it was like it didn't matter honestly that is the feel you get so we'll see. And we know how they play on the road, and they are so comfortable here. I expect the Astros, at the very least, to put up a great fight in game five. All right, Matt Yeloff, I largely reject what you just said, but we don't have time to go into it. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Regarding what? Wait, the wait, experience. Wait, wait, wait. That, so, like, Texas, uh, they don't have the experience to know that they could be down and come back. They've done it already, Matt. No, no, no. I'm not saying they can't do it. I've never said that. My You're saying the other side is, is better at it. They don't get rattled. Well, okay. All right. Can we let Matt go? Correct. Uh, you, you're right. You're like a talk show host on the radio. You cut me off when you're ready. No. Matt, I'm ready. Thank you, Matt. Good report. Enjoy. Enjoy.